Arise and shine another day. I wonder what will come our way. So much here to see and do in Seagull Street. Games of fun and bravery. Make believe a mystery. All day long until we go to sleep. In Seagull Street, we're all. Sure that no one's been left out. Be friends, what it's about. We have to say that life is sweet here in Seagull Street. <laughs> For weeks, we'd been looking forward to the Seagull Street summer party. Grandpa Clover had come up with a brilliant idea a paper chase with the motto, Who knows Seagull Street the best? Vincent. You're in a team with, um, Mr. T Man. Oh. I hope I get a nice grown up too. Michael would be great. <laughs> the most important thing is not see to Sybil. She's so grumpy. The next child is Tara. She will be partnered by Zeta Sybil. <gasps> You poor thing. With Zeta Sybil, the game would only be half as much fun. But Peter and Mouse were also unlucky. Peter was in a team with Mrs Voising. And Mouse was with Mr Voising. The things one does to be a good neighbour. All the other children were lucky with the adults they were drawn with. Tina got the mother of Julian Fritzy, Lucas Michael... Julie, my dad, and Fritzy, Tina's mum. Each team gets a list of exercises. The team that completes all the tasks first wins the Grand Seagull Street Prize. Psst! If we can swap grown-ups, you can have this bar of chocolate. Are you crazy? Not for ten bars of chocolate! Afterwards, there'll be a surprise for all the participants. Mrs Johansson and my lady wife are preparing it as I speak. I'll swap with you, Peter. That's no good. Mr or Mrs Voising, that's like choosing between diarrhoea and a maths test. To help in solving the tasks, today the houses and gardens in Seagull Street are open to all. Off you go. The clock is running. Hmm. Wait for me, Julie. I had decided to be nice to Zeta Sybil, although she's a pain. After all, I did want to marry Vincent at some point, so it was probably a good idea to make friends with his mother. We'll work through the list point by point. Concisely, systematically and successfully. I bet the task in the Clover's Garden will be fun. This isn't about having fun. It's about speed. Didn't you hear? The clock's running. Is it? Mm. I hope you're good at games like this, because I want to do better than my husband. Why exactly? If he wins, he'll rub my nose in it for months afterwards. He's a terrible winner. What is it? We have to solve the task as quickly as possible. Dragon doesn't like you, Mr Voisin. You have to be nicer to him. So it's come to this. I have to be nice to a cuddly toy. Ugh. Don't do that. It's disgusting. Don't you ever pick your nose, Mr Voisin. Don't you dare be so cheeky. But you're being cheeky to me. That's not fair, Mr Voisin. <clears throat> Give me strength. <sighs> Three types of plant that grow in the clover's garden. Grass, cypress trees and... Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'll save the best joke for later. <laughs> Red cabbage. <laughs> Tara, don't dawdle, girl. 
<laughs> Come on, partner. I need your help. We're only as strong as a team. But Zeta Sybil was strong all on her own. I could be as nice as I liked. <laughs> Even though she didn't know all the answers. Which city is shown on the poster in the Kruger's party cellar? Could be Los Angeles or New York. I'm not sure. I'll just make a quick note. The poster shows New York. <laughs> the next task is to count all the windows in Seagull Street. I'd better do that. Your mother told me maths isn't your best subject. Hmm, what? I, uh... Hey! Ha! Compared to Peter the Master Spy, 007 is a real amateur. Zeta Sybil recognised it. It's New York on the poster. Excellent. Now we just have three tasks left. To the coolest team of all. Uh, yes. And now we have to spy on my husband and find out how he's getting on. Fuzzy? Are you fuzzy? Oh, rats to it. What kind of stupid question is that? Is fuzzy black or white? Hey, I know what they're called. We and poo. <laughs> <laughs> Soon as this game is over, I'm going to have a serious word with your parents about their badly brought up brat. It's such an imposition to have you little rascals as neighbors. It doesn't look like he's getting on particularly well. People. Oh, rats, Vincent. We've forgotten the garden task. Come on, let's go. The last question. How many cardboard boxes are in the Johansson's garage? We'll know that in a second. Mine will. It really was a bit over the top to get so worked up about a few sweet little mice. <laughs> but at least I could finally complete a task as well. Cardboard boxes. Yes. The mice won't hurt you. They're much smaller than you. I know, but I still find them repulsive. Will you do me a favor? Mm hmm. Will you keep the matter of the mice to yourself? It would be very embarrassing if anyone found out. Of course. I solemnly swear. Thank you. Come on, let's go to the Clovers. Maybe we'll be the winners. We were very fast. Because we were concise, systematic and successful. <laughs> Suddenly, I found Zeta Sybil a much nicer person. Oh, you're finished already. Please come in. Ha! Rats, they're already finished too. Na 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 na, tar is too late. We're the first. Oh, shut up. Now, now, calm down. Mm. What counts is getting the answers right. The first thing is to verify that. Well, let's see. Yes. <coughs> right. Peter and Mrs. Voisin finished first. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! We won! Oh. <coughs> However, you did not answer all the questions correctly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The poster in the Kruger's cellar is of Los Angeles, not New York. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, the undisputed winners are... Zeta, Sybil and Tara. Hey! Hooray! Uh, but 
They mm. got it wrong too. Mm. That's right. Didn't we put down New York too? I wasn't sure. And in the end, I changed the answer at the last minute. Oh, why would you do that? What interests me is why you thought you knew our answer. Huh? Were you eavesdropping on uh, us? Uh, uh, well... Dear neighbours, the quiz was supposed to be fun and not lead to arguments. Let's go into the garden. After all that hard work, you deserve a reward. I have the honour of awarding the Grand Seagull Street Prize to Tara and Zeta Sibyl. <gasps> to Tara yeah! and Zeta Sibyl! <laughs> <laughs> to our excellent teamwork. To us! At least we were quicker than my husband. <laughs> he isn't even here. But mouses. That's funny. My husband. Oh, dreadful. Oh, I can't Hey, where's your partner got to? Yeah, where's Mr. Voisin? He was shouting too much, so Dragon locked him in the garage. <laughs> in the end, it turned out to be a great day after all. Mouse just had to avoid Mr. Voisin for the next few weeks. Can anyone hear me? Let me out. Hello? Hello, hello?